guys, we're going to get started. So today what we're talking about is sending out your holiday email campaign for your contacts or your clients inside of command. So there are a few elements that we're going to utilize to do this. Um, one is obviously going to be the email campaign section. And one moment, sorry. And then the second part is going to be the um, designs section so that we can grab some imagery. Um, now you can pre-make your email template and then pull it into a email campaign or you can do it right from inside of uh, the email campaign builder. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you is um, the actual email template and that's going to be in your designs section. So if we want to come over into designs, which is the little painter's brush here, we'll open that up. And the first thing you see are my designs, which are ones that we have created previously. And so to create a new email template, we're going to hit the plus sign uh, inside of the blue circle and we're going to choose email. And we're going to go ahead and hit next. All right, now here is the KWRI templates. So these are the ones that Keller Williams has provided. And if we um, scroll on down, you're going to see right here it says classic happy holidays. Um, you can hit load more. And there are lots of other templates that we can use in here, but we're going to use this happy holidays one. So classic happy holidays. All right, you're going to click on it and then you're going to go ahead and hit next at the bottom right hand corner. So Zoom might be covering it for you at the moment. And here is what the pre-made email template looks like. OK, so it's going to have our Market Center um, logo up at the top. It's going to have this nice little image with the snow globe in it. And then it has the content. So dear, and it says contact first name. So this will be filled in when the email actually gets sent to that specific contact. So whatever you have your contacts first name as in your database is what it's going to backfill with. And here is the text during the special time of year. I wanted to reach out and wish you and yours a very happy holiday, so on and so forth. If we come on down, you can see it says happy holidays uh, again and it says the contact's first name, warm wishes, and then it has the agent's first name. So it'll put your name in there. All right. Now this content is 100% customizable. So if I click on it, I either can double click and it'll open up here in the right or if I click on it and I click on the little pencil, It'll also open here up in the right. So you can uh, change this text if you want. All right, so come on in. You can just change whatever wording that you want. Um, if you would like to um, put your full name here, you can also include the merge tag. So this says agent's first name. And then you can follow it right here are your merge tags up with say your agent's last name. So if you want to be a little bit more official, you can do first name and last name. First name is probably good for a um, holiday <laughs> message, right? You could even wipe this out and you could just put in your email signature. You could copy and paste your email signature if you wanted to. Okay, so that's how you're going to change the text. It does have some formatting here. Um, you can change your size of your text. Uh, you can also change the color of your text here and whichever font you would like to change. So um, I'm not actually gonna change anything when it comes to the text. So I'm just gonna hit done um, and it should be, oh, and it looks like it, um, change my layout slightly. So right here are my two favorite buttons, guys. Undo and redo. Undo, redo. Uh, some of you might have already written out what you want to say. So you could just wipe out everything that's in there um, and you could uh, copy and paste whatever you wrote out in here as well. Um, just remember, use those merge tags if you want to personalize 
the email. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So again, using those merge tags will place that content in there. If you don't want to personalize it and you could just say, dear client, dear um, valued customer, whatever you want to put in there, you could always do that. And if we come closer, it says contact me for all your real estate needs. It's going to have my image and then all of my contact info. And you're like, well, where, when, how can I preview this? Make sure that that info is correct. Um, so what you can do is you can just hit this little drop down on the options and hit preview. And then right here, it's going to show you what your info looks like excuse me, so if you want to change any of that, you can definitely change that. All right, you, oh, I'm sorry. I was gonna show you one other thing in here. You can also preview what it's gonna look like on different platforms. So this is gonna be in the inbox on your the desktop. It's gonna be on a tablet and then on a mobile. All right, so it just lines it up a little bit differently. I like the way it looks like on, on a mobile, it looks good. Okay, so we're going to X out of there. So if this is what we want to go with, awesome. Uh, there's also some other uh, design images that they have available in the design section. So this image right here at the snow globe, if that's not the one you prefer, um, there's a couple different options. If we hit the little edit pencil, we can replace this image. So if you have an image that you um, found online that you want to use, if you had our marketing director create something for you or they created something you liked in our Facebook group pages, you can download it and you can just um, hit add images and we can upload an image just like this. So if I hit browse and I look in my downloads, I downloaded a couple yesterday. Um, so if I want to change it to this one where it actually says Christmas, you could change it there, click on the image and hit replace and you have to hit done and it will replace that for you. Now, um, you may want to, um, check the sizing of that. So we might want to do like 620 and hit done. And it just stretches it out a little bit more so it doesn't look wonky or anything like that. Now, this image I did pull from the designs section. So I'm just going to open up a new tab so that we can take a look here. And if I come into the design section, I'm leaving my tab open with that template just so you can see. We come into the design section and we hit the plus sign. And this time we're gonna just choose social because that's where all the graphics kind of are. And we go ahead and hit next. We can come to the holiday section in designs and you could customize one of those images. Um, they do have some cute ones to choose from or um, sorry, not cute, nice, some nice ones to choose from. Um, they have some here in the new designs. All right. And for our purposes, uh, you would want to use either the square or the social wide. All right. So social square, if you use that, downloaded that image, you could use it on your social media. You could put it into the email. Um, and the only thing before you download it, uh, you want to either take off that doing business as logo um, or replace it with the Keller Williams real estate. I would say just replace it. So if I open up one of those designs, right here is my doing business as logo. I know some people are just gonna download it and chop it off, which in some of the designs, it's, that's fine, but some of them, it kind of covers it. So when I'm clicked here on this doing business as logo, I can come over to my Keller Williams real estate logo and use these circular arrows and that's going to replace it. So if I hit that, all right, and I can pull it on up. And now I have the Keller Williams real estate logo there. I could also enter in my contact information. Now this is just an image that I've saved with my info on it. You know, you could place that somewhere, um, but it's already gonna be in the email. So I don't think you really need, even need to do that. So I would just replace that or you could just eliminate it altogether by clicking on it and using the nice little garbage can there. All right, so then all you have to do is hit download and you can start the download. 
like that. And then I can go put, post that on social media or pull it into the email. Also, I can just save it in my account, Christmas, um, we'll just say Christmas email image, right? And I can hit done, it'll save it for me. And it'll be in my, my library. So now if I want to um, replace this with the one that I just did, I can hit the edit, replace, and I can um, hit add images and I can pull in from um, the download that I just did with the new logo on it. So this is a square one, so it's gonna look slightly different. All right, you click on the image and hit replace and you just wanna hit done. Now, again, I changed that, um, the size. So since that's a square image, um, I would just do 500, I think it's 500 by 500, 500 by 500, hit done. There we go, now we have my square again. Okay, so you can change those image dimensions if you want. Um, if you just replace the one that's there, it'll replace it in the same exact size that was already there. So if you were previously using a square, that should work or the social wide. Okay, so we have our image. Um, we changed any text that we wanted to change. All right, so this would be, let's change the name of this to Happy Holidays. Client, oop, spelled correctly today. Client email, all right. You can see it saved it. I'm gonna just go ahead and hit save and exit. Anytime that you guys are creating in these systems, you can always hit the little save button and it'll save as you go. It does have some auto saving, but if by chance you gotta walk away or something, I always suggest just hitting save um, so your last things were saved. All right, so save and exit. All right, so here's my happy holidays client email. There was my image if I wanted to use that for social media. So now I can go ahead and create my actual campaign. So I'm gonna come over to the megaphone here and hit campaign. All right, and I'm just gonna click on emails. All right, now the first thing I want to decide, um, I already made the design, and before I start building, I want to decide who am I sending this uh, email to, okay? So if I'm sending this email, I'm going to go ahead and hit configure lists. All right, this is where I decide who I'm sending it to. So um, I am going to hit create list. All right, then I put in the name of my list. Say it's just all your clients. You could do all clients, right? Mm -mm -mm. All clients is just not working for me today. All clients, right? And I can just start hitting select all. When I hit select all, gave me 100 people. I know I have more than 100 people in my system. So I just scroll on down to the bottom and it says, load more. All right, I'm going to let it load. Keep scrolling. Load more until I've hit where it's no longer says load more. Not the most ideal way, right, to do this, but it's not super hard, right? We can just scroll down, keep hitting load more till we have everybody. I think I have 800 in here. So it looks like I had to do it eight times. Just keep scrolling down, load more. And one last time, load more. Okay, so now I've loaded everybody. So I can just pull this guy all the way back up to the top and hit select all again. Now I have my 808. All right, now you could also run tags, guys. So like if you don't wanna send it to everybody in your group, you could run a search for a specific tag um, and then add them that way. 
Um, so if I wanted to change that list up and I wanted to just do like my buyers or my sellers or my sphere of influence, past clients, um, but you do have to have had that tag already applied to the client. So personally, I'm just gonna hit select all and hit confirm. All right, it's gonna reload. So all clients, 808 contacts. All right, so now I'm going to actually create the campaign. I got my list, I got my email template already created. So I hit create a new campaign and I'm gonna choose email. All right, and uh, this is gonna be my uh, holiday email or you can make it Christmas or whatever you want. You saw that they had some uh, Hanukkah and Kwanzaa um, and winter solstice um, templates in there. So you could name it whatever you want. All right. And I'm just going to say brand awareness. All right. And keep this on my command email and hit set up campaign. Okay. So now it's saying my general information, my campaign name, the channel, which is command email. My account should already be in here. So um, that gets pulled in from your settings section. So if that, um, or if you are on a team uh, and you're the rainmaker, you actually have a choice to choose your personal account or from the team account, okay? And that's for the rainmakers side. So uh, then the send list right here, if I hit the drop down. Right there's my send list, all clients, okay? If I come down a little bit farther, this is what it's gonna be sent from and all replies are gonna go to, again, this is the setup in your settings section. So if this email is incorrect uh, and you hit edit, it's gonna bring you on over into the settings section, which I'll show you guys in a moment what you can, uh, how you can change that if you would prefer. Then we have our subject, so um, wishing, you a very happy holiday. Ooh, Typing today. Hmm. <laughs> All right, whatever else you want to say in the subject. And now is where we're going to pull in the template that we just made. So select design content. This was my happy holidays. All right, so I'm gonna click on that one. It's gonna show me a preview of it. So if I do need to make any last minute changes. So if I decided, oh, maybe I don't want a Merry Christmas. Maybe I do want a happy holidays image. I can always change that at the last second here, but I'm gonna leave it as. So I'm gonna hit save and exit. All right, it's gonna put a preview up over here. All right, now it doesn't put in the um, contact information until it actually sends. All right, and again, you can always leave that out. You could just do dear uh, past client, dear customer, dear friend, whatever you want to put in there um, if you're being more personalized. And again, you can also do that for your name as well. All right, um, if you're worried about it, uh, not pulling in the correct info. Like maybe you have somebody in as Benjamin um, and you want to make sure that it says Ben, you have to make sure it says that in the contact card. So you could just say, dear friend or dear client. All right, so now it is ready. All right, and I can either send it right now or I can schedule it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna schedule this and you can schedule it if I wanna do it for Friday morning, for actually Christmas morning. I can do it Christmas Eve. I can do it any day that I want. Um, if it was for New Year's, you could you know, go out as far as you want. Um, so I'm gonna do it for Christmas Eve, all right? And um, apply a time. So what time do you want this to go out? Um, I'm gonna do eight a.m. Apply date and time, December 24th, 8 a.m. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit schedule. Okay, then here it's gonna show that my holiday email is scheduled. All right, 
And um, once it sends out, you're going to see how many opens you get, how many clicks you get, how many bounces that you get. Um, and then it gives you a full idea of everything that you have running currently, okay? And how many uh, emails that you have remaining. So it says I have 4,800 emails and 50 emails remaining. Um, and if you do need more emails, you can upgrade your account um, and pay for an upgraded um, version of the KW command email. And it is very cheap. So um, if you need more than 5,000 emails a month, then you should be good. All right. Um, if you decide you don't want to send this, you can hit the three dots. You can edit, you can duplicate, or you can cancel the campaign. So if I hit cancel campaign, um, it will stop that scheduled. Um, if I want to duplicate this campaign and maybe change out the image, maybe I want to do this for my friends who celebrate Christmas, then I want to duplicate it um, for my friends who celebrate Hanukkah or Kwanzaa. Um, I can duplicate the campaign, just change my uh, recipient list um, and keep it and change up the image in that uh, email template to specifically what they want. Now your email list can be from one contact all the way up to um, as many contacts as you have in your database, okay? So if you need to come back in, you can just hit edit. You can come back in here. All right, you can also send yourself a test email. So you can either preview the email or hit send test and you can send yourself a test to yourself just to make sure it looks like you want it to look on the inbox. All right, send test, and that'll come over to you in your inbox. Um, I don't know how fast that's gonna come over. Oh, there it was. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, so it's in here in my inbox. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it did not change over my contact first name, contact last name. So what I would probably do is just come back into that campaign and say, I want to edit this. You know, it's technology. Sometimes things work and sometimes they don't. Update your design, holiday email. And I can just come back in. And what it looks like now that I'm looking at it, cause they have the stars around it, it looks like they what we can do here, if we hit edit, is I can take out this and I can just add like client first name, agent, contact first name. So I could take out the one here or like we had done before, we just take it out and we just say like dear friend or whatever you want. So just be careful, I would highly recommend um, sending it to yourself um, or just typing out your own message if you want before, just to make sure. It looked like it did my warm wishes for this one, but it may be because I edited it. Um, I added some of the text. So if you want to use those merge tags, uh, you might want to just, again, send a test to yourself to make sure that it comes over. Okay. Hey, Katie, is it possible it did not populate because it was a test? Um, so sometimes that does happen um, when it comes to imagery, but I haven't had that happen in the actual text before. So I think it's because I had come in and I had, um, I was messing with the text. So what I would probably do in this scenario is if you wrote your own text, I would just wipe out what's here, right? Say, dear, oh, Dear, and then put in the contacts for saying we can do it again just so you can see um, since it's actually not really hard dear contact first name comma and then enter thank you um, 
for your support. All right, and then I'm just gonna do, um, um, and then I'm gonna try to put in my agent name. Thanks. Obviously you guys are gonna write much more than that, um, but let me just see agent first name. Okay, and I'm gonna hit done. All right. All right, thank you for your support. Again, obviously you'd make it look much nicer than this. All right, save. Save and exit. All right, there it looks like it changed. See it, how it put my name there? Let's see, let's double check the um, test. Could be, like you said, it could just be because it's a test. Um, in that case, I would put yourself as a single recipient um, on a recipient list and send yourself like a, a real time version instead of this test version. All right, and see if it changes. Let's see, it doesn't look like it did. Yeah, it's doing it for my name, but not for the client's name. So do yourself a favor, guys. When you're creating, let me just come out of here. When you're creating these recipient lists, um, do yourself and maybe even another contact if you want, like you and your husband or you and your admin or something like that, and just configure a list of just yourself. So you can send yourself like a true test email is not like a testing version of the email. So you could just create list me for testing. All right, and just find yourself, Katie Joe Rummel there, there I be, hit confirm. All right, and send yourself a quick test version um, so I would just do like a duplicate reel here, duplicate campaign, duplicate, because that's still scheduled to go out later, duplicate campaign and just change my list to just me for testing. All right. And instead of scheduling it, um, I can just hit send. Send now and see if it, um, comes over looking the way you want it to. I always say, anytime you guys send marketing out there, make sure you are on that list. Because <laughs> nothing's worse than somebody following up with you and you have no idea what they're talking about or you didn't see that it, it came out in a, a specific way, like with something incorrect. Um, and then you're just gonna come back to your inbox. And it does take a few minutes um, till it sends out if you do real time, um, but I would just check it like that. If it comes out clean and clear, then you don't need to change anything. Um, but if it's still, ooh, it looks like I just got it. Give it a second. And it looks like it did it correctly. So let's just refresh real quick. So it looks like it's just a test issue. Here we go. Wishing you a very happy holiday. And right there, you can see it says, Dear Katie. So it does do it correctly when you send the actual email, but the test is still showing that merger uh, field. Okay, so the, again, if you guys are just joining us, here we were testing the system. It'll say test, and it was not backfilling in the merge field right here, contact first name. However, when I sent it as a real email, it did put my, my contact's first name in there, okay? So thanks for mentioning that and I'm glad we could do that together and you could see how it works. Do we have um, any other questions on creating the campaign? I'm actually just, let me um, cancel that so it doesn't go out. Okay, um, creating the campaign or the email template. Now you guys could use any of the email templates. Um, I just like that it already has the contacts in there. So 
I mean, we've been on this call for less than a half hour and we've done it a couple times now. So um, you could see that it, this could take you just literally minutes and everybody gets a wonderful holiday greeting from you.